Hey y'all, so as y'all can see by the title, y'all will be going to the gym with me. If I'm being honest, I haven't been to the gym in a week. And that's because I've been really focusing so hard on my schoolwork. To the point that I kind of lost my groove in doing that, uh, which makes me sad. But technically, I haven't lost my groove because I've been doing workouts at home, you know, every single day before I go to bed. Um, I've been training myself to um, know how to, like, learn how to do push-ups. I've been doing it for, like, two weeks now. And I've been making progress because I've been doing push-ups every single day and every night. I just feel as though that's an essential for me to feel, I don't know, for me to feel accomplished. Or, you know, when I work out and stuff like that, it's like an accomplishment for me, basically. I really trying my hardest to achieve that goal. I've been saying for the longest, oh yeah, I'm going to teach myself how to do push-ups. I'm going to do it and never did. But this time, I've been doing it consistently. I've still like, been doing little workouts here and there in my room. Um, But, you know, it's just like the feel of the gym is just 10 times better because it gets you more motivated. When you're in your room or in your house, you automatically know that your bed is there you know could just stop anytime and just want to lay down just because you know but in the gym even though i can leave i'm not going to because you know like it's my motivation so and yeah so i'm not sure if my friend is gonna go with me this morning um <laughs> so i may end up going by myself which is okay still uh, I've been told myself that I was going to go this morning. It's actually 8.49 in the morning right now. I'm really supposed to have got up around 7-ish to leave out at 8, you know, something. But I was studying for so long last night, I was like, I needed my sleep. But when I do that, it makes me feel bad that I'm not being productive or I'm not sticking to my word as, you know, the night before. Because I always write things down in my planner. 
and I've been I've been like on the road with everything and just to see everything except you know the days that I have tomorrow and Sunday just to see those things you know get scratched off it kind of makes me feel better that you know I actually do stick to my word um because even though I consider myself a very disciplined person I feel like I can be more disciplined you know I be having some slip ups of just being like okay well I'm tired I can just do it tomorrow but in my head also be like what if today is your day to do this like what if today is like your only chance to do this type of thing I don't know like with posting a video I would just be like okay well I'm probably just gonna post this video tomorrow or next week and then something else in my head be like okay well what if today would have been the day a lot of more people would have been on youtube to view it what if people have like a busy week next week or don't have time to be on youtube but i don't want to keep talking too much um what was i gonna say so i'm gonna cook me some breakfast it was literally in my head what i was gonna talk to y'all about Well, I guess it's not meant for me to tell y'all, because I forgot. And I ran out of eggs, so I can't fix me no eggs. I have cereal, but I don't have no milk. I ran out. But what I was doing earlier this morning was called oil pulling. And basically, I just went ahead and just started straightening up, you know, to just kill time. Because they say you're supposed to, you know, swish around the oil in your mouth for like 15 to 20 minutes. I actually started doing oil pulling like months ago, but I stopped because I just started forgetting to do that the very first thing in the morning. I just automatically started brushing my teeth and just... Do my skincare routine and go by my day. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. But I had to. I don't know. My teeth are very important to me. I love my teeth. And I would do anything to allow them, I don't know, to still have them. <laughs> At least for the rest of my life, every single one of them, if I can. And I see a lot of the benefits with oil pulling. And I do have a cavity, but I'm going to see what it's going to do. I'm going to see if I'm going to notice any differences with, you know, my teeth and everything. So that's what I was doing this morning if y'all didn't know like what oil pulling was. But yeah. <laughs> different color um tights and stuff for my house because i still notice at the end of the day i use my black leggings the most i mean i have two pairs of black leggings but i don't know it's just so hard for me to step out of my comfort zone and it, even though it's clothes i'm just not used to wearing colorful stuff to the gym so I just automatically allow these black leggings to be my go-to and I don't want that because I want I want to do something different but it's hard I don't know I'm gonna put on some deodorant yeah I am so close to the end on this it's ridiculous I don't know if I want to wear my Converse's or just my balance I always sit in the car while I put my gas. I guess it's just a safety thing, even though it's the morning time but you know it's a habit for me now
gym in like over a week. I was just trying to get a feel of everything. But I'm consistently going to the gym for like three to four days out of the week. So missing a whole week. You can kind of feel the difference within your body. I know for me, I didn't feel too much complete, like, you know, within myself. Because this is what I enjoy doing. And just missing out on this just had me to feel like, I don't know, a piece of me was like missing. I know that's kind of like dramatic, but that's just how I felt. Might as well say that this was a full body routine. So, I think I've been in here since 10 and it's 10 40. So it's about time for me to go anyway. And then I have to go by my cousin's house to go get my laptop. Because the other one that I had, it just, I don't know, it basically damaged itself because I didn't do anything to it, but then just all of a sudden, the screen just started glitching real bad. You know, that's a whole different story. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I may end it right here, I'm not sure yet. I really don't have nothing else to do besides stay up my test on Monday. But with the whole push up deal, I'm gonna still keep pushing myself. Um, yes, I'm starting off small with doing the girl push up, and yes, I did fail still a couple times today. My arm just got so weak. I guess for me, it's gonna take a little longer because I haven't really pushed myself to, you know, I haven't really challenged myself to my full potential when I'm doing my upper body workouts. I really decided this time to actually challenge myself, not just do three sets of 10 and just let that be the end of it. Like, you know, if I need to keep going, then I'm just gonna keep going. You know, until I can't do any more reps. So I started doing it today and I'm glad because I feel like I can see more progress when I'm doing that versus what I was doing the first time. But yeah, enough of that. I don't think I'm gonna end the vlog here. So I'll just see y'all when I get home. I'm